All day, the routine at the Apple store at Knox and McKinney has been the same. Customer after customer trying to open locked doors until they see the sign taped to the inside of the glass and then learn why they would not be buying an iPhone 11 today. It's pretty crazy that, that this happened. The crazy started at 2.30 in the morning. A construction crew was working here when a man wearing body armor and carrying an assault rifle came in a side door. Police say he tried to take a security guard's gun. The guard, a retired Dallas police officer, opened fire instead. The suspect ran out of the rear of the business and collapsed in the alleyway. The body armor did not save him. He died at a hospital. A backpack filled with cash and a bloodied iPad is all he left behind. It's absolutely crazy. I wouldn't expect it in this area of town for sure. Yeah, definitely surprised. You, I guess you hear those stories but never expect it, especially in this part of town. But despite the affluence of the Knox Henderson neighborhood and it not being perceived as a frequent target of crime, records show this Apple store has been targeted multiple times before. Everything from shoplifting to a 2012 theft where overnight burglars broke through a back wall. Yeah, you have to be very aware of your surroundings. Yeah. Bad things can happen anywhere. Yeah. The medical examiner has not yet identified the suspect. The security guard was not injured. The Apple store will likely reopen on Wednesday. But as for today's inconvenience, customers, they seem to agree on at least one thing. It's not, it's not worth your life. <laughs> yeah. Although a gunman who ended up losing his was willing to take that chance. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.